If you're visiting Little Sahara Recreation Area and you're looking for a place to camp and you want your own little slice of concrete instead of being in the dunes, then Oasis Campground is your flavor. And we're checking out all four loops of Oasis Campground on this VR video tour. I do not know what the numbers or letters of the loops are, but they're really beautiful campsites. Each one has a lot of space. As you can see, if you look carefully, there's a lot of room for toys, which is the whole point of coming to Little Sahara. There's plenty of room for your trailer, plenty of room for your ATVs and dune buggies. And the other thing is, also if you look closely, you can see that there is actually trails that go in between the campsites. So you can like go in and out of your campsites, between campsites, around campsites. There's just trails everywhere. This place is special. Again, as per almost the whole park, only one person in the restroom at a time. I really want to ask the park rangers about that, or maybe I really don't. I don't want to know why they have signs for one person in the restroom at a time. This campground is actually the farthest along the road from the entrance to the park. It's also located by the Manti Temple Quarry, which if you can get in there would be a cool place to check out. That's where they hauled a lot of rocks a long time ago, stones for a temple out to the east. And again, this is winter, this is February. And you can see that it's pretty open still. And there's actually quite a few people in this campground. These campsites are also, I'm pretty sure, on a first come first serve basis. I haven't seen a website for reservations. So if you do come across that website, please let me know. And we're just exiting that first loop and we're going to head on down towards the second loop. And now we're coming into the second loop here. I really don't know how many campsites there are here in this area again, but there's so many. There's so much camping here. It's crazy. The capacity is insane. Unfortunately, you can see that throughout the day that I filmed this, that the clouds started setting in and the storms actually started coming in. And I was hoping they'd be thinned out a little bit so we could get the beautiful sunsets that we got last year. We got some incredible sunsets last year. As I've mentioned in the past, you've got to be careful camping in these places in the summer. It can get really hot. There are those days when it can get really cold in the winter time, but the temperatures are a little more mild out here in the desert.
feels like this loop has a little more distance between the campsites as well. So if you kind of pay attention, you can get an idea of where you might want to camp. I would recommend on a busy weekend of going on a Thursday if you want to pick your site. Fridays, everyone starts to come out. You might get stuck in traffic and you might not have as many spots to pick from. And we're heading towards the third loop here. And this one is the one that's furthest up on the hill. You got these big beautiful junipers. So it's not your typical forest, but again you do have shade. The other thing about these areas is they get very windy. We've camped at a similar place called Yuba where they have a whole reservoir with sandy beaches and that gets super windy as well. It feels sometimes like your trailer is going to blow away underneath you. These ones are also very spaced out. It feels like more towards the top of the hill, they get a little more spaced out. If you like your privacy, it's probably the ones you want to pick. Almost everything here is a pull through and if you follow my videos, you know how much I love pull throughs. Now we're out of the third loop and we're going to head down to the fourth loop. The fourth and final. This one seems to be a little more crowded like that first loop. As you'll see here in a moment. breathtaking. Also one other thing, of course this place is just full of people on ATVs. So if you're looking for peace and quiet, you might not get it. There might be some hardcore people here. I recommend camping elsewhere if you want peace and quiet. But if you want to bring your toys, this place is the best.
We're just about wrapped up here. Thanks for watching this video. Again, if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button to support more content. Bring your toys and your boys. And we'll catch you on that next video. Bye for now.